I was shocked. Linda, was, we were all together when we heard about uh, poor David Guest. Um, yesterday, obviously, the, the news broke. He, he was a music producer, a reality star, and, of course, he was a friend of the show. Uh, David's body was found in a London hotel yesterday afternoon, and his, uh, his last ever TV interview was right here on Lucimin in January. Now, Sherry, you were you're a really close friend of David's. I right know. Now. I've known him for a long, long. It's I, I can't actually take it in if I'm honest. It's devastating. And I spoke to him the last time was about I don't know maybe 12 days ago, and um, we were arranging to do all sorts of things. And you know, David was so full of life. Honest to God, his energy was unbelievable. Yeah. He was always going somewhere, always doing something. You, you yeah. come with me. I, I've arranged it. And I go, OK, you come to Liverpool. You come to York. And I go, OK, OK. And the last thing he said to me is, right, OK, I know you've got to go, but ring me, will you, either tomorrow or the next day? And I didn't. Oh, and, I, you know, it teaches us a lesson. Doesn't it? Mm. You know, somebody says ring or text and they and you go, yeah, yeah, OK, yeah. Do it, because... You know, yes, I'll you always know. think of that now, and I'll always think I just could have. I kind could of have befriended everyone, didn't he? Yeah. Everybody, everyone, everyone. That he had time for. That's what I loved about him. Yeah. When he was on the show, you know, that was the first time I'd actually met him. Yeah. And I felt like I'd known him years by the end of it. And you I just, know. you just let him go. I mean, there was no point they were going and yeah. asking him. I said, listen, you're not going to get to ask him anything because he's. I, and what was so fabulous as well was obviously the whole Big Brother thing. Yeah. And the, the is the fact yes. that he turned that on his on its head, and that's what, of course, his his show that he oh, was uh, getting everyone right. involved in was was going to be all about. Mm. Okay. Um, you, you talk about when he was on the show, we've yeah. got a little clip, actually. Let's oh. take a look. I have a cousin that lives in Manchester, and I think mm -hmm. you live near Manchester. Yeah, Her name is Helen Hurt. She's an astrologer, and she has two daughters she named after the planets. One's named Venus Hertz, and one's named Uranus Hertz. <laughs> no, no, seriously, I'm not joking with you. And, and Uranus is the biggest fan of the Nolans. It's her birthday today. She's 40. Ooh. She's a musician. She's a penis. Really? And, um, so you want and to say happy birthday? Would you say happy birthday, birthday to, to Uranus, Uranus. Hurt, please? Did come down with, with I remember, him, which I remember. was the most hysterical thing I've ever done in my whole life. And it was Christmas, and we had oh, the when I went to his apartment, I got there. There was Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus, and you had to sit on each of their knees and be <laughs> and, and, and you know have a presence. Walked in, there were seven dwarfs and Mickey Rooney, <laughs> <laughs> the real Mickey Rooney, real Mickey Rooney. I went. Oh, and I thought, no, it's, this isn't real. It was. And he did a tap dance out of the door. I thought, mm, that was the start of the evening. It was absolutely oh. He was wonderful, wonderful man. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really. Uranus <laughs> is the biggest fan of the Nolans. It's her birthday today. She's 40. <laughs> She's a musician. She's a penis. Really? And, um, so you want to say happy birthday? Uh, would you say happy birthday, birthday to, to Uranus, Uranus. Hurt, please? <laughs>